Hi, my bestest and amores. You are watching the official YouTube channel of the sexy music assassins in smil.com. And welcome back for another episode of Painting with Dia Samay Apagalia. And in today's episode, we are going to paint McKinley, one of the tallest mountains here, or the highest mountain peak in North America. America. It's with summit elevation, if I'm not mistaken, it's like 20,310. That's in feet. And a topographic isolation of 4,629 miles. So Denali is the third most prominent and third most isolated peak on earth after um, Mount Everest, okay, and Mount Aconcagua. So, Mount McKinley, all right, is nestled in Alaska's famous Denali National Park. So, if you don't know about this mountain, this mountain has two names. So, in 1896, all right, William um, Dickey, okay, he was the famous, um, one of the famous gold prospector, he dubbed the mountain Mac, Mount McKinley, all right, in honor of President William McKinley. So, however, all right, the Athabasca natives uh, around the area of Denali, you know, they have long called the mountain Denali, which means the Great One. So, please stay tuned, all right? And if you're new watching this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, comment below if you have any suggestions, okay? Please comment below. And also don't forget to follow all my TSMA family in ismail.com, all right? Um, if you see like TSMA and then under the score, then you follow all of them. They're my sexy killers all right they're amazing 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 singers all right and as i promised all right please don't forget to um subscribe to um abby wally storm and also tsma x all right and if you visit smil.com all right uh search for tsma x TSMA Abby Wally Storm, all right, and TSMA Il um, Moss and Vasi Moss, also TSMA. Um, there's a lot actually who has their own YouTube channel too, so please, please um, follow all of them, all right. And I'm still waiting for Sister Kimmy to open her own YouTube channel. <laughs> Yay! And also, please don't forget to follow all my admins, all right, and all the citizens of the Sexy Music Assassins Royalty. And without further ado, let's start. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run all the colors that you need, all right, in order for you to paint along with me. And please don't forget to. Um, check out the description links below all right uh, check on the links in the description below all right so you'll see all the Amazon stores all right and um, jacksonsarts.com uh, if you're wondering if if we are we are getting paid we are getting paid a small commission all right so not too much, but it's just a small commission, right, from these major companies. So, without further ado, let's start. And also, family, please um, don't forget to subscribe to TSMA Saddam's uh, YouTube channel and also TSMA Cleo. So, alright, let's start. So, let's create happy clouds today, alright?
So we're doing crisscross strokes for clouds. You know, I live here in Alaska and I only saw this mountain once. That was when it was my first time coming here from Philippines, you know. <laughs> I love it. It's a really gorgeous mountain. You know, Mount McKinley is Mother Nature at her finest. For real, you know. You know, but also at her harshest and also least forgiving. You know, you'll truly feel like alive, you know. When you explore the Denali National Park. So, I encourage everyone, you know, to visit this mountain someday once this coronavirus is over. I guarantee you, you'll fall in love with this mountain. It's really, really gorgeous. Do you know that the glaciers on this mountain, the glaciers covers around like one sixth of the Denali National Park, which covers roughly, if you measure it, roughly around one million acres. So just imagine when you're on hiking, you know, reaching the summit. It's an epic, epic challenge, really. So beautiful. And yet so challenging when you try to climb it. Ooh, I like this mountain. You know, when you're painting clouds, you know, don't just put like one color because that's like, um, you're just, you just pulled a curtain, you know, down. And it covers all black or white. <laughs> so try to be like, more imaginative. Use your imagination. Okay? Use your imagination. And also, um... This Mount McKinley is located at 63 degrees north and 151 degrees west. This far northern latitude causes the area to have an extremely low barometric pressure. And also lies 70 miles southwest of Fairbanks. And if I'm not mistaken, all right, here it's 130 miles north, northwest of 
ancora qui again I repeat it like 70 miles it's southwest of Fairbanks and 130 miles northwest north northwest of Anchorage where I live so it's really quite far far so don't try to walk <laughs> okay I'm just making you laugh <laughs> chill 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 family chill <laughs> don't try to hate me okay if I'm trying to make you laugh like you know what if you like watch um, the other video the 10 hacks you know someone literally <laughs> dislike the video um, that's only for emergency purposes only okay <sighs> people people Well, you can't please everybody. That's the fact. <laughs> okay, that's life, family. Haters will always hate, you know. But I love you all. <laughs> okay. kind of like super dark right here let's lighten this up a bit it's too dark I think we'll put happy clouds little clouds later on this is just the background okay And also you can put like pink colors or red but be careful when you're doing that because you don't want your clouds to caught fire <laughs> just be careful just be careful All right and you can do this one the key here is just practice 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 just keep on practicing okay if you can't paint don't think that you can't paint you know it's a learning process really so i say that you don't quit okay of course at first it's kind of like hard you know and it's okay if you like um make a mistake don't quit right quitting is not an option if you really want to paint it just really takes a lot of practice 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 a lot of time it's an investment you know just think about what i'm saying doesn't really need to be perfect you know some clouds like it looks like this you know it comes in many shapes and forms so don't you worry if you think like you make you made a mistake please don't think like that think about it like an art you know I like 
So don't be scared to put clouds, all right? And also don't kill the dark spots. Or else you will have cotton balls hanging on your clouds. Alright, with a clean one inch brush, just kind of blend, blend it out, okay? Don't destroy the top of the clouds and then try to lift it up just like that. Just careful, be careful, just like this. Just blend it, blend it. And then try to, there you go, again, And then And with a clean 3 inch brush, just gently. Blend it out. Just like that. Just be careful though. Okay? Just two hairs and some air. Just like that. There you go. And 
and you can also add some water just right here it depends if you want water some water so you have to work from the outside going to the inside of your canvas just like this that's if we decided later on if we want some water okay make sure it's straight just like that So it's like there's an illusion of water.
now you have to leave this part okay so that will give you an illusion of silhouette of light Now let's create our mountain. So what we are going to do we have we are going to push the paint right into the fabric okay Just like what I said, you just have to push that paint right into the fabric. Just like that. Now with the 2 inch brush, 
you just have to follow the angles okay just pull that paint down pull that paint down This is an almighty mountain. <laughs> and then gently lift it up. Okay? Just like that. Follow the angles. And with the same knife, we are going to throw some snow, All right? Just barely touch the canvas. Hold on, I need to move this one. There you go. There you go.
So with a clean one inch brush, all right, we are going to create a mist effect. And gently, very gently. And follow the angle. Follow the angle. Right? With a clean two inch brush, just very, very gently lift it up, okay? And follow the angles, it's more, more important. Still waiting for the shipment of the Bob Ross um, brushes. Till now, I haven't received it yet, so. Very, very gently lift it up. This is to create an illusion of the mist. Right. It's misty. Especially when it's cold. If the temperature is below zero.
since Mount McKinley is nestled in Alaska's Denali National Park. We are going to make an illusion that it is surrounded by a lot of little mountains. So with this uh, Prussian blue, right? We are going to use this Prussian blue to create those little mountains surrounding the Mount McKinley. So again, we have to push the paint right into the fabric or the canvas. There are no mountains that are alike, so we have to like be really more creative in making our mountains okay Again, push it right into the canvas. That's why it's called the Great One because it's the highest mountain peak in North America. And it's really, really gorgeous. Nice in. Then with a one inch brush, we are going to pull the mountains, these little mountains, right? And follow the angles, just like this.
We're just touching the foot of the of the mountain. Now by using a small knife, we're going to add some snow.
again with the clean one half inch brush all right we are going to create a mess and then very gently Just follow the angle, right? And follow the angle. And with this brush on blue, all right, we are going to create an illusion that there's a lot of like evergreens and some trees that lives right here. So load your brushes, right? And let's create those trees. Always reload your brushes.
so we want to create a water effect right here so all we need to do is to grab that down right order to create that illusion of water reflections there you go okay gently very gently okay There you go. That's better. And now with a fan brush, I am going to load this with Prussian blue, right? Just make sure that it's fully loaded, okay? But you have to like dip it first with thinner, okay? So the paint won't be super, super thick when we are going to make our trees, especially evergreen trees. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Eh, let's put some evergreen right here. So with the edge of the fan brush, right? Just do it. Just use the edge of the fan brush. Just to show some indication that evergreen leaves right here. So we add another evergreen right kind of like a friend remember no man is an island so everybody needs a friend all right so let's put another one on this one probably this one is a little bigger
there you go and another one friend lives back right here all right then another I can put another evergreen right here Ooh, that's huge another back here Just some little indication here and there, okay? There you go. Oh, good, good. Another one. There you go. Just some huge evergreen leaves back here. Another one. There you go. Let's add some more right here. Another one lives back here. There you go. Another one. Then don't forget to reload your brushes, right? Maybe there are trees also that leaves back here so let's not forget to create some trees just like that all right now we are going to make a huge evergreen all right maybe one evergreen lives back right here so we're gonna make it sh make sure that it's kind of big okay Don't forget to reload your brushes. Maybe there's another one back here. Um, maybe. Maybe like, oh, uh huh? Maybe like here. Okay, let's do that. By just by using the edge of the brush, right? That's what we are going to do. Just like that. 
There you go. Huh. All right. That's not bad. <laughs> Woo. That's not bad. Okay, my besties. Another one. So when you notice that your brushes are getting like clumpy, okay, you dip it in a thinner. And again, reload. This is how you reload. There you go. Right? There you go. Another one. Alright. Reload. Always reload. There you go. And another one there's another evergreen that lives back here a baby one okay let's do that there you go Okay, so don't forget also that there are bushes that lives back here. So load your one inch brush, any brush that's used, all right? Just reload it with the same color. There. Same color. There you go. All right. And just push the canvas. I will show you just like this Hold on. see this one there are some bushes that lives back right here so just do that Again, do not kill the dark colors. That's to create the distance, okay? Now we are going to do some highlights, okay?
So with the sap green, load another fan brush, all right? Load it with sap green. So let's imagine that our light um, comes this way. So let's just highlight this side. Alright, let's go, let's do that on this side too. There you go, then another one. Now we are going to highlight our bushes. So with a round brush, all right, we are going to highlight it with cad yellow and a mixture of sap green. Just mix that together. Okay? Then reload your brushes. I'm using a round brush. Okay, family, let's do this. Again, do not kill the dark areas, all right? I'd rather use a one inch brush, okay? That's better for me.
just basically adding some colors all right still highlights So there are variations of colors. And you can add some forget me nuts, right?
Now we are going to put some indications of twigs, all right? by just using the edge of the knife. Now let's put an indication of dirt right here. An indication that there is land back here. Just like that.
Now with the titanium white, we are going to add an illusion of the water line. Just make sure that your water line is straight. This will show an illusion of ripples.
save. for the highlights of the bushes I am going to add some orange color There you go. Now I am going to sign it as finished, all right? So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching the sexy music assassins painting with epagelia All right, fam. I will see you all next time. Love you all so much. Mm. Thanks for watching.